guys, it's Scott here and welcome to today's 6pm content video. Hopefully you do enjoy this one. If you do, please do make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you want to see more videos and live streams. That's what we're doing every single day. We've actually got a second live stream today coming up at roughly 8pm UK time. So if you do want to check that out, then it'll be live in two hours. Uh, but other than that, we are going to jump into hopefully something good. Preseason so far has been a bit... Eh when it comes to the six o'clock content. So hopefully today is gonna to be a little bit better and we're gonna find out what that is in just a second. If you're looking to pick yourself up some coins before the end of FIFA 20, then make sure to click my link in the description to go to U7Buy and make sure you use my code Birdie at checkout to get 5% off your order. So in 45 seconds, we get our reveal for the new objectives, if there are any. Obviously we got Fatty recently, uh, which is a decent little card, but it's not anything insane. And I feel like if you compare it to what we got throughout Summer Heat, uh, with Bruno and Samedo even, and Fela Mendy, we got some incredible players in objectives. And so far, we haven't really had that. So I'm hoping that today, maybe, or at, at least in some of the news, I don't know, we're going to get something good. Now, Big news that we do have coming through on Twitter is that we have got a gameplay trailer for FIFA coming out on the 4th of August. So that could be very, very interesting. Uh, I've got it right here for you. Here it is. So official gameplay trailer for FIFA 21 premieres August 4th at 4 p.m. So... That could be very interesting to see what we're going to get from that. But let's see what we've got today in the 6 o'clock content. Do we have any objectives or not? Have you, have you flopped again? Tomato is still there. Okay, no, we don't. Do we have anything actually good in SBCs today or not? Pablo Sarabia... Road to the final. Okay. Okay. Interesting. They have just said... Two of the most exciting teams in the field collide in Lisbon. But only one can go through. A UCL Road to the final Pablo Sarabia SBC is available in Foot 20 preseason now. Complete the SBC and unlock the Foot 20 Icon Home Kit on the same platform in Foot 21. So not only are you getting Sarabia, you are getting an icon kit in Foot 21. The absolute scenes. So he is out for nine days. He's got double four star, high medium, five foot nine. Nice. Uh, pace is decent. Shooting stats are great. Passing's great. Dribbling's great. Other than composure, a little bit low. Great stamina, pathetic aggression. Outside the foot shot makes up for the fact that he does not have a five-star weak foot. I mean, right now, I don't think... I don't think PSG are going to go through, to be honest with you. I, I think Atalanta are actually going to do them. They just score so many goals. There's no one Bappe for PSG. I hope that it's going to be a really good game, but I, I'm really not too sure whether this card is even going to get upgraded. So, in my opinion, you may be paying however much this is just for this 94. If he does get a couple more upgrades, he could be bad. Uh, but this is not that expensive. An 82 rated team and an 84 rated team is really, really not that much. Let me quickly try and get you the exact price for the SBC. Um, so an 82, wait, so an 82, just 82, comes in at about 20k, so that's okay, 20,000 coins for that part, and then an 84, what did Mickey require? Mickey is just an 84, so that's 70k, but you do need a special card. So you're roughly looking at 100,000 coins for... Pablo Sarabia, which again, I really don't think is that expensive. So fair play with the valuation on that one from EA there. That's pretty good. 
Now, I'm going to very quickly show you, I believe if we back out and go back in, it should show you the kit that you also get for FIFA 21 if you complete that SBC. Now, personally, I don't care. I wear the Leicester kits all year, every year. So it doesn't make any difference to me. But someone has just shown on Twitter that if you uh, back out and go back in, then it should pop up with the Foot 21 reward that you get for that SBC. So what I want to know in the comments is, are you going to do the SBC? Do you think it's good value? But also, do you think PSG are actually going to go through or not? Is the more important one to me. Okay. So we are getting that kit right there in Foot 21 if you do this SBC. Again, it's okay. I, I don't care, but I know some of you guys may be interested because a lot of people ask me why I use the same kits all year and they say, do I get bored of it? Clearly not, otherwise I wouldn't do it. But I know that a lot of people mix up their kits regularly. So this could be a nice one to start off your FIFA 21 life cycle, uh, which may be a bit of a rare one because I don't know how many people are going to do this SBC and I don't know how many people are going to do the SBC purely to get the kit. So... You might be in a, a slightly exclusive club right there, but um, I don't know, man. I I still think that with this promo so far, this whole preseason thing, I just don't think we're getting the level of players that Summer Heat brought us that you really, really want in your team. That you potentially change your team to get that guy in it like Bruno and people like that. I still don't think that we're getting that kind of stuff. So maybe it will heat it up a little bit and become closer to Summer Heat as we go through the promo. But right now, what we're getting is good value cards that are pretty good, but not outrageous. And I think that is the best way to sum it up. I feel like this is the big last big promo of FIFA 20, right? You should be going all out. Like, why not boost him to double five star? What is there to lose? Uh, it, I don't know. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. But I think this SBC right here sums it up. That this isn't repeatable. And yet it's still an 82 rated when this is an 82 rated to get a 90 plus. Again, Valverde it's an okay card, but he's double three star. He, he's okay, but not incredible. Mickey is probably the best one that we've had, but he's a nightmare to get into your teams because of his uh, club and ridiculous nation for this game. So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we've got so far. But I think that's going to be it for today. Again, if you want to tune into the second stream, it's going to be live at 8pm UK time. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.